This type of mount that you see here is called a German equatorial mount. There is a few steps you need to go through if you want to set this up correctly. I always recommend you extend the legs. It does provide additional stability. Next, you're going to be locating the north position on your mount because you can't just put this down in any orientation. Try to figure that out for your specific mount. The next step is to get the mount itself. It's likely you will see two screws here on either side. That's used for adjusting what's called your azimuth. Those two screws in the middle have to go around the little peg there that you have on the mount. To make that easier, I recommend you just open these up a little bit on both sides so that there's enough clearance in here between the screws that you're not going to be riding on the top of that, but it can easily slide in between the screws. Screw this in as tight as you can, just, you know, finger tight. If you have a center plate as I have here, maybe you can do that earlier in the setup process, but I just need to tighten that in now. We can now go ahead and tighten these in. We're gonna adjust all this later. Next, we're going to get the counterweight rod and screw in to one side of the mount. Once you've done that, we can now attach the counterweight. And now you need to be careful. Out here on the end of the counterweight rod, there will be a screw that you have to unscrew completely. If you're doing this during the night, be careful you don't drop this. This is a stop screw that prevents the counterweight rod from falling off. Different types of counterweights have different mechanisms, but as you might be able to see inside the counterweight here, there is a drop pin. If you point that downwards, that should disappear and there should be a handle here where you can basically unscrew this. When you're sliding this on, keep an eye on where your feet are. It's all too common that people keep your feet out here. These are heavy and without this stopping screw, these will slide right off and you would not be the first who gets a broken foot from dropping one of these counterweights. So I always recommend standing behind it here, slide this up and then with the screw that you saw on here, we're going to lock this in. Now we can put the stop screw back in while keeping a hand on the counterweight so that it doesn't slide down and hit our hand. When that's screwed in, we're secure. Should this for some reason slip, it's not gonna fall off. 